Ho, ho, ho. Merry Bridgemas, everyone. This sweater is perfect for engineers and architects alike. Only available at my special spring store. Commuting to work. The bane of the modern worker's life. Unless you're working with architects. Whether you're crammed into a train like cattle, with your face pressed against a sweaty man's armpit, or you're stuck in a mile-long traffic jam being honked at just because you didn't move forward two inches when everyone else did. If you've commuted to work, you'd probably say it's the worst part of the day. But is it actually that bad? Or rather, could it be made worse? Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome to City Skylines. Oh, I said that a bit excitedly, didn't I? Well, today we're going to be taking a commute to work and making it a thousand times worse. I don't know why I zoomed in on this pillar. Now, first off, we're going to have to do a little bit of highway engineering. Because uh, basically, I just want I just want a highway so people will come in, they'll they'll go around, then they'll end up back at the start. So that's all good. And then I'm just going to build some highway ramps so people can get off the highway and they can they can go and live somewhere. So highway ramp off there. Connect that to a roundabout that I've just built. And then I'm going to put in some two-lane, one-way road with trees. And that's going to end there in a dead end. So basically, this is where everyone's going to live. We're rather this is where the employees are produced so we'll just paint that up in that color that means that houses will spawn there now obviously these guys they they have some needs they're going to need some electricity so i'm going to build a wind turbine so i don't think that will give anyone jobs i'm gonna i'm gonna destroy those trees sorry tree lovers but that's going in the middle of that then obviously people need water as well so i think i'll just give them a large water tower we'll do a little bit of drainage keeping the pipes under the roads because i'm not a monster and then for the sewer outlet we're gonna i guess we're just gonna like come out like, down down there i guess and obviously as sewage comes out this end that will that will like flood so i probably need to dig like a bit of a hole so uh, let's just oh goodness <laughs> Okay, we've got we've got a we've got a hole that's gonna fill with poo. That's a very, very deep hole. I didn't mean to I didn't mean to do on that deep. Still made it a little bit bigger. I think that should be good now. Um, and then where will these where will these workers end up? Where will their commute be to? Well, we need jobs. So we're gonna head over this way and we're gonna do probably over here somewhere. So I've made a little area here. It's not connected at all. So I think in this one we'll have like industrial sort of stuff. And then on the inside we'll have some high density commercial, like shops and things. Now over this way I've got another one. One. So I think this one I'll just do like offices and then all the other things you'd expect as well. So we'll shove like a hospital in there, fire station, a police station, an incineration plant, and finally wind turbines for both of them, some water, and then some pipes. All right, so there we go. So if we press play now, we should see all of those sort of start getting built. So yeah, you can see people are building their businesses. Lots and lots of jobs over here. And then if we head over this way, you can see everyone's building their houses as well. Ooh, look that. That's a very grand house. Anyway, now they're now they're growing. We should hopefully see some traffic turn off the motorway. Guys, we got fresh new houses. Does anyone want one? They're going cheap. I mean, they're going free actually. Wait, we got one. We got one. All right, what's your name? Dexter Lewis, an uneducated young adult. Oh, you could be you could be an architect. Okay, so he is moving in. I know. I imagine most people moving in. Yeah, uneducated adult. This one, uneducated adult. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is working well. So basically, loads of people moving in here. They all have career ambitions to be an architect. Um, and of course, the home of architecture is, is over here. So all we've got to do is get our people from here over to there. And that journey is called a commute. Now, it's worth noting these guys, they, they literally, they don't have a job yet. They literally just moved in. So they've probably got no money to their name. So I guess first off, I'm going to put some toll roads in because if you want to be an architect in this town, you've, you've got to pay for it. So we're just going to do a little stump of road, then a toll road, then a little stump of road, then a toll road. And then since I've never tested whether you can actually stack toll roads, I should probably actually check people will actually use this to commute. But first, I need to I need to up the ticket price. So all of these, we want everyone to pay the maximum amount of money to make them angry. All right, so now we just wait down here and we see if anyone wants to go to work. Like, you have the opportunity to be hired. You've just got to get there. All right, here we go. Here we go. The first car. So they're going through the toll. They've just paid one toll and then through another toll. Okay. Okay, it looks like they're going to pay. Who's that? That's Cedric Roberts. He works in the ice cube factory. <laughs> Yeah, you can see he's currently driving to work. He's he's not very happy about it. Probably because he's currently commuting. Anyway, he's made it through most of the tolls now. If we head back, it doesn't actually look like anyone else is... Oh, there they are. There they are. Right, okay. People are prepared to pay a lot of tolls to get to work. Um, so I guess first, as he just makes it through the last one, let's just hit pause. Because uh, I've, changed, I've changed my mind about that bridge. 
Let's get rid of that. And then we'll just add to the road in front of the cart. So we're going to say, actually, mate, uh, we head over that way. Uh, because there's actually, there's a few more tolls for you. And um, because it was getting a bit samey, like everyone, they can just stay in like one lane. I, here I made it go down to three lanes just to make it a bit more complicated. So it goes down to three lanes for a bit. Yeah, then these four lanes are going to go down to one lane and they're going into a tunnel. But they'll then come round this side all the way around here, come out there and then go back through more tolls. But they have to file down to a single lane every single time. We're looping back this direction, doing exactly the same thing, but then occasionally going into two lanes, occasionally just one lane, occasionally three lanes, before finally bridging back over to here. And let's just see, I imagine, will this guy like disintegrate as soon as I press play? Or is he going to carry on? He's a bit confused. He's like, I thought that was the end there. For some reason in front of me, there's now a turn and a hell of a lot more tolls to pay. Oh, and apparently these these tolls, they need water to operate. Okay, well, hang on a sec. I can, I can do that. You can see I've got, I got the main pipe work going up the... No, I don't know what to call that. <laughs> I guess the shaft of the road. Uh, I feel like that describes it fairly adequately. There you go. So those tolls are now fine. And you'll see, oh, look, lots of people on their commute to work. One even on a scooter going to discount sales. <laughs> Oh, you poor, poor thing. Anyway, first car, you can see they're a little bit concerned here because they're now like, oh, bloody hell. Why is it Why is it down to three lanes rather than four? I got used to the four lanes. Well, that's nothing. Now you've passed through here. You're going to have to go down into the darkness in a single lane where they'll pop out this side and then they've got loads more tolls to go through. Each time filing into a single lane and then back into the four toll lane. And at the moment, because there's only one car, it doesn't seem that bad. But once we get lots of vehicles, Vehicles entering together, as well as big dump trucks. What, do you privately own that? Is that how you travel to work? I love in the back he's got dirt. Like, that's not that's not part of his job. That's like, that's just his private, that's just his private dirt. He wants to play with that at lunchtime. But yeah, this is good. This is a good start. I mean, I mean, there's 25 tolls. So if you're a car, you're paying 50 quid to get to work. If you're a van, you're paying 100 quid to get to work. And um, that's not too bad. I mean, architect salary, pretty good. So, uh, hence everyone is, is traveling to work still. Right, next up, this car is about to hit the end. Um, so we better we better hit pause. I feel like the commute was a little bit too easy for him. All right, so next up, I think I am going to delete the bridge. I don't really I feel like I shouldn't give them the bridge to travel to work. Like, that's just way too fun. Uh, so it's another it's another tunnel. Uh, basically, I want him to come out the tunnel and then we're literally just going to go completely straight uh, like that. And also, we're going to we're gonna come up here. We're going to use the traffic manager mod. Now, we're going to set the speed limit of this road. At the moment, you can see it's 80 kilometers or miles, probably kilometers. Now we're going to set that to unlimited. So these guys can literally travel as fast as they want to. You might think, well, Matt, they're just going to get to work really, really quickly. Like, why Why would you do that? Well, you see, if you look up that way, you'll see that is the sun. And you'll notice these lampposts, they are casting shadows. Now, if we were to if we were to increase the size of those lampposts, I don't know why I'm calling them lampposts. I mean, the technical term is lighting column. Basically, if I, if I were to like replace those sort of replace basically just plonk trees so that the shadow is like the same length as the light all right so there we go now we have a road with lots of shadows and light on it so basically as you're flying through you know like when there's low winter sun and you drive down the motorway and the sun's just flickering in the corner of your eye it's absolutely hideous well uh, that's what our commuters are going to experience there all right then we're going to do like a sort of a bendy section just to just to make sure people are paying attention all right and then we're just going to go straight and then straight back and then straight again and then straight again until we end up with this. Now, you might think, well, Matt, that's not too bad. I mean, yes, it might take a while, but they're just straight roads. They're easy to drive down. Well, no, my friends, because if we turn on the speed limits for these roads, you'll see whilst the, the curvy bit is a nice 80 kilometers an hour, as we head onto the actual road, it goes from 80 to 10 to 140 to 40 to 90 to 20 to 100 to 80 to 60 to 20 to 90 to 100. To, and so on, meaning this section of road is going to be absolutely hideous to drive on. So first up, let's wait for a car to come out this tunnel so they can head down the hideous, blinding straight road. Wait, why is no one? Why is no one coming out? Hey, what happened to you? Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw that. So as they, oh no, as they come, oh no, oh these people, they're not going to make it to work. Every time they pass through this, disappear. Have I made this too long? <laughs> Have I literally made an unbearable commute to work? So the question I have then, when these people pass through there and then plop out of existence, where do they end up? 
because there's pretty much no cars left on the toll roads. And back in the city, there's like... No one has cars. I mean, there's, there's still a car there. That's a sports car. You're not going to travel to work in that. Like, I've just made this place a ghost town now. Right, well, that was a bit of a failure, but don't worry. All is not lost because there is there is another way to travel to work, not just via car. So let's get some public transport. Actually, do you reckon my public transport will travel along this road? Like if we get some buses down, we could build a bus depot there and then we can create a new bus line as long as these guys have a way back. I mean, actually, perhaps... Perhaps that's why people didn't travel. Is that all I did wrong? I don't know. Let's let's build a route back that comes along here and back onto the motorway. So people can actually get back now, which means I can build a bus line. So start there. Pick people up there. That's a bus stop. Then we do another stop there. Oh, no. <laughs> the game's like, nah, I, I'm not. I'm not getting there, Matt. I can't. I can't do that. Is it because they can't travel through tolls? What if we put a stretch of normal road in there? Can we, oh, we can put a stop there. Okay. So I think basically we just need some... Um, normal roads every so often. So, oh, there we go. There we go. Yes. 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 Okay, they've got over to there. So, I think I want it to loop all the way around. And then we'll have a stop there. Another one there. And then I can just head back to the original complete line. All right, and now we've got a bus route that covers the entire road. <laughs> Question is, will buses use it? Oh, but, oh, they're not buses, they're coaches. That's way better. I've made this too good. Oh, they did just crash into each other, though. All right, so the question now is, will the buses make it through the toll roads and onto this road? So we'll watch from above and we'll see how far do people get. Now, this is where people got to last time down here. So I guess we'll just keep an eye on there and see what happens. You can see there is a coach coming. Is it going to get through? Yes. Out the tunnel? Yes. Okay. So finally, coach out tunnel and blew it out. Look how fast it's going. Hey, look at the shadows on the window. That's got to be so painful for the people inside. <laughs> Ow, I hate that. All right, so then they enter some really tight bends, which look very fun to navigate in a bus before entering this stretch where their speed constantly changes from super slow to super fast back to super slow before they can speed up again and go really fast. <laughs> oh man, it looks so painful driving down this. I mean, there's not even any signs. I don't know how they know how fast they're Go. Look at the speed that guy's going to break. Speed up, break. This guy's, oh, there he goes. He's off, he's off. <laughs> yeah, I think this really gives us an idea of just how varied the speed is. Like, look at all the buses in the background. Particularly if we speed up, you can, <laughs> you can see everyone going fast, slow, fast, slow. <laughs> hey, look at this guy. He's going that speed and then whoosh. See you later. Yeah, since these buses are sort of, they're getting towards the end now, I, I imagine we can just carry on our commute. Because to be honest, if they're just sat in the bus doing nothing, is it really, is it really that painful that I need? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just the bus driver that has to pay the tolls. So let's take these guys on a bit of a journey over this week. I built a straight road over to there, but if you zoom in, you'll see it's not straight vertically. Now that should make some people very, very scared. Easy. But then we end up over here by the sewage. Now, I just want to give the architect some sort of, I guess, some inspiration for the day. It's basically what they work on is a load of crap anyway. So if we just pass them around there so you can have a little look down, but mainly so they can get a nice coating. Presumably, they'll have the, the top windows of the bus open as well. And then if that doesn't make them vom, I imagine the journey home will, because they have to travel over this... <laughs> Oh dear. So hopefully I can just drag to add a stop. Then our buses, once they're done with that, they should head rather than straight to work. They'll go over. No, no. Don't say my bus line is too long. I really, really wanted them to travel over this really badly. I mean, they should. They're clearly on the line. They just disappear. Oh no. It is all perfectly connected. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Someone made it. Someone made it. Look at him go. Now the thing is, they are traveling a bit fast. So I did actually, I changed the speed over here, meaning as he drives around and enters the sewage, he slowed down quite a bit, meaning, oh, a full coating. Yeah, but then afterwards, of course, they do speed up once again, ready to take on this. Oh, dear. oh, man, you'd feel so sick on there. It's so fast as well. I mean, they're not actually, they're actually clipping through most of the road. They're not even, they're not taking full advantage of my curves. Oh my, what happened to that <laughs> So as they come down the ends, around the corners, they go a little bit AWOL. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God, do you see that one? 
Where did he come from? I feel like I've made like the best commute in the world. I was meant to make it worse, not better. So is it around this one they go absolutely mental? No, that's fairly standard. All right, this one could be the absolutely insane one. Where did he go? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. No, honestly, not a clue. <laughs> I will say though, I feel... I feel like I've pushed this commute to its limits. There's not really anything else I could do to make it that much worse. Unless once they've finished spewing from this very hilly section of road, which I'm not going to lie, might be my favorite thing I've ever created. Like just, just seeing the odd flying bus. And that one, whee! <laughs> oh, really makes my day. But after all of that, yep, they finally head onto this road where they slow down to 10 miles an hour to really take in the sights and smells of all the rubbish created by the architects. Before people finally arrive at work to find out they've been sacked because they're architects and they, they don't work very hard, so they get fired. Anyway, guys, that was me making the commute to work a thousand times worse. Let me know in the comments what was the best slash worst part of the commute uh, and is your real life commute even worse? But for now, I'll say peace, love, and flashy trees that I don't like. Bye!